and we're back. Welcome to the Don't Call Me White Girl show. We're here reporting live from Haiti. Sapase, Nabule, Wee oui, Wee. Oui. What's up, fellas? How's it feel to be in Haiti? Hey, we, uh, we definitely near that near some island, but it ain't <laughs> Island Ave. <laughs> I cracked a couple jokes about being L.A. Mona. I cracked a couple jokes about being L.A. Mona, and people believe that every day somebody's saying some old L.A. shit to me. But I really do want to move to California. Not necessarily L.A., but I do. So wait for me out there because I'm coming back. We had an absolute ball when we were there, didn't we, Phelps? L.A. was nice, yeah. Good time. One night we spent the night, and we stayed up all night long partying with our friends, our L.A. friends. (laughs) How are you, fellas? How y'all doing? Good, straight. I'm good. I wish I had some LA stories to tell, but I mean, I got some from a year ago, but those aren't fun anymore. Yeah, sorry. You don't really show up to stuff anymore, Tom. You got to come out a little more. Come out and play. Are you said you got engaged. You about to be somebody's husband. Yeah, no, we outside this summer, though, for sure. Yeah, for sure. We have a lot going on. I think I mentioned a little bit last podcast. We got the strength of a woman in Atlanta. Uh, I have an event. I am going to be in. New Orleans, Yo, which is lie. huge. Never been there. Never, never been to New Orleans. Me neither. Never had kind of like bad food down there. Listen, I've never been to New Orleans, but I got so much love. I cannot wait to come you down there. there. What'd you say, Phelps? You end up eating some pork down there just because. Oh, know, God. Like, you know, some gator, some, some <laughs> type shit. You feel me? I can't wait to try some stuff because I'm I, like I'm so like engulfed in the culture as far as at least on socials that I follow some of the popular soul food restaurants, some of their like um, you know little delicacies, not just beignets, but I see they sell something called yakami or yak down there. It's okay. like a ramen kind of thing with um with noodles or whatever. It's just a lot of shit, um, and I can't wait to try it. And I want y'all to pop the fuck out. Um, I am in. And I never do shit like this. I am at Forts in South Dorginus, Dorginus, St. New Orleans. I'm a little slow, but 410 <laughs> the, the South gonna be up on the Dorginus. Ground. It'll be on my social media. Um, and it's a day thing. It's 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's in New Orleans. Area code, if that helps, 701 and um, come fuck with me because I would like to meet you bitches. I'm in um, the Strength of a Woman thing in Atlanta. We got the Roots Picnic in Philadelphia. That's in June. We might have something in D.C., but, oh, um, what's in June? Roots. Roots mm-hmm. is June. Roots is going to be a good time. And Lil Wayne's coming to Philadelphia next week. And if you want to catch me in time, out, you can. Carter One Drop, I'm rapping everything word for word. And for Lil, you know, if I got a little chorus like, because that's what the whores like. You want to slide me your number? I'm diking this summer. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's great. Did you bitches listen and watch the documentaries that I asked you to watch a couple times? Did you? Did you? Did you? I want to start off from the gate. I want to talk about Waco. Did you watch Waco? What is it, three-part thing? I think so. Three or four, yeah. Why me? This part of the podcast will be called Why Me and Phelps Fucking Love Waco. <laughs> number one. Um, if you have a familiar with the Waco story, um, small town, Waco, Texas, there is a cult. I can't even remember their names of the, the cult. Uh, Branch Davidian. Branch Davidian. Look at that big boy. <laughs> I did my homework this time. Um, Branch Davidian led by David. Koresh. Koresh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Plus one of this pussy. <laughs> um, by David Koresh. Just a real interesting story time. It, the the, 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 the uh, co had been around for a while. David okay. comes, some loser, real typical tyrant, mm-hmm. cult shit. He comes, he sees his opening, he starts fucking the older lady that's mm-hmm. the leader of the cult. She dies. He beats with the son to get the control of the cult, gets control of the fault, a shootout, <laughs> where, they, where gunfire ensues and they go to jail yeah, briefly, but... Um, they got on the radar of the FBI, oh, excuse mm-hmm. me, of the ATF. Mm-hmm. And what happened was um, the ATF fucked it up. They, they When it was their day to raid, mm-hmm. you know, the um, camp, mind you, it's a pretty big house. It's built on an incline, incline excuse mm-hmm. me, is that the right word, incline? Yeah, incline. Because when, when you, when okay, this makes more sense. If you're in the house, you're looking down at everybody yeah. around mm-hmm. you. It, I don't think the house on the incline, which you, I think the house was like four or five stories. That's what it was. And it was like, Push back. It wasn't like no baby. No it was on the incline. That's why when 
they had the mapped out plan. Remember when they had the house? The the thing in behind the back. that was the whole point because from a standpoint of niggas that run down on shit, that's hard to do. Oh, you said, oh, I know what you were talking about. You right, right. You they know what I mean? Because they're going the, they up had that the little hill. That's what right. it was. You're right, right, right. They right, have right. the advantage. And the then at, to add to what you're saying, they have those towers. Yeah. Um, it was crazy. They go. Their whole goal was just to lock the leader of the cult up. That was it. Mm-hmm. When I tell you that shit went haywire, as soon as they go to the door, gun battle, and I'm talking about minutes. I think seven minutes straight or something like that. It they, don't look real, yo. It, 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 and then <laughs> you can hear it. It's when I tell you the documentary is good. Check that document documentary out. If you are around my age, we grew up hearing the Waco story. But this documentary was really cool because they talked to the people that survived out of that motherfucker. They talked to all the police that were a part of it. And niggas was being honest. We fucked up. We fucked this up. Because at the end of the day, the ATF ruined it. You know, um, journalists is the reason why it got out because these journalists are lost. They stopped the mailman. Oh, we're trying to get no. to this address. We're trying to get to this address, right? And then the mailman says, why you want to go there with them people? They're boring. He says, oh, no, the ATF's supposed to be storming it today. We're trying to get some footage. They didn't know the mailman was one of them. The mailman oh, flies back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, mailman yeah. flies back to the house. The my fault, my fault. They, the, oh, because that's a part of it, too. The mailman <laughs> flies to the house. Yo, they coming. And, yep. of course, these people, part of their beliefs was... Um, apocalypse. Mm-hmm. Jesus is going to come back or everybody's going to leave. Only certain people going to go. Yo. They're going to be led by David. So they were waiting. David was really charismatic. He was funny. I know you got kicked out of him because I did. Um, you guys really and it's easier to laugh when it's so much years later because it's not funny. It's I mean, not. 30 kids die. It's a crazy situation. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to tell you a lot, a lot of how I think of it. But um, when they had that first shootout, when I tell you them Waco niggas told them cops out the frame, yeah. bust them niggas' asses. Right. 50 cow going through the vest and shit. Word. When you talk about the police said, can we wave the white flag? Yo, That's deep. Yeah. The cops was bitching. What? That's deep. Yo, they shot the shit out them niggas. I'm talking about when them niggas that end up on the roofs climbing through windows, they ran out them bitches. They yeah. was out of getting knocked down on... They had a 50 cal weapon. So their their rest are getting ripped the fuck up. Mm-hmm. They're getting ripped the fuck up. David, when they finally get on a negotiating tip and they talking, David says, Now come on, you boys don't know what we got. Yeah. Now we had to spank he y'all. You done ran over here. Mm-hmm. We had to spank y'all. A bunch of y'all are hurt. A bunch of our us are hurt. I mean, I'm not gonna give it up, the whole thing up, but it was really good. Was good. What Phelps was saying was the how they got the attention on them was because they was arming themselves. They yeah. believed in that Second when Amendment. Deliveries, like a grenade yeah. fell out. And, and a grenade falls out of the package. The yep. And then, boom, it's time. But it's like, my question to the people are, when is it too much for government? Like, when does government have too much influence on what you believe in? If they believe this greasy, smelly foot bastard is in charge and they're willing to give up their kids or whatever, whatever they're doing, at what, what point does the line join? Do you come when the people are being hurt? Do you come when there's children being hurt? Do you come when... I mean, like, when do you? Because in all actuality, a lot of people back then looked at it like it was unnecessary because the only thing that happened was death. Mm-hmm. A bunch of people died. They didn't really get what they want because, of course, like all cults, they went out the same way where most of them yeah. killed themselves, so mm-hmm. allegedly. So, um... I don't know what's good. You know what's crazy to me? How fat that little boy got. I was like, Yo, damn. Yo, he was stressed. What the fuck? And like, he, I know how I feel, like, watching my podcast over amount of time, but this nigga he literally like, he, quadrupled he, his He size. looked like he's still mad at his mom, and she don't give a fuck. Like, is <laughs> He had, well, he had a black this. mama that was white. That bitch ain't giving me. You, Nick, my son's in there. <laughs> Ask his Daniel Lewis in here. His new name is Shaka Lulu. His name is Dana. <laughs> that nigga mom, she flew from like California to Texas to go yeah. get this nigga. Yeah, she, she wasn't playing. Listen, did you peep the little tension between the DT? And he was like, because the, they asked the chubby guy something. Because the chubby guy, I think one of his, his points, to me the chubby guy didn't seem like he wasn't still down. You know what I mean? Yeah, he seemed like he, him and the other joint seemed like, that's why I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, come on, right? Yeah. So when he asked the chubby guy who starts the fires, yeah. the chubby guy said we didn't do it. Mm-hmm. And the cop goes, he's a fucking liar. Like from the gate, like he's a liar. He's lying in. He's lying now. All the motherfuckers is criminals. They all deserve. It was just a wild story. Yeah. You have to watch it. It's it went on job. for literally, I think, over a month. 
It was 50 something day standoff, bro. 50 God, state day. And you them know, niggas had plenty bullets. It, bro. It, I got tape in. I got tape in. Like, it looked real, but it don't look real. You like. Is that. Cause, Cause it, it looked like some shit like you know when the cops getting their ass buzz, it's a bunch of white niggas that look befuddled, so they helmets is all crooked. <laughs> These niggas is you feel me? It look it, you like, oh, they really doing that? Did that work? You got pe- like it's- they had the biggest <laughs> listen, the number one nigga out there, they had to wrap this nigga in the comforter and ride him on the top of the hood. Yeah. They that bust their asses, bro. They really did. And it was black me. people in the call. I'm always super interested. And it was a black guy in the call that was high we up. Got, we don't got we gotta know more about him. His name was like Walt Miller. Some, Do you know the nigga I Googled him after? That's how curious I was. Wayne Perry Wayne, was his name. He was turned? I ain't gonna say it was... Yeah, he was. Because he was a lawyer. And then in that time, he's a black guy you, with a fro. And do you want to mention uh, the special guest? Or do you want to want them to see that first? What special guest? Tell me I'm wrong. Um... Oh, yes, I do. I'll yeah. say that. What a lot of people don't know. What, um, what's it called? Is the, the, um, what is his crime okay. called? Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, City bombing. bombing. That was in direct of, like, fuck the government because of that. Mm. A lot of people watch what happened, and they mm-hmm. felt like, damn, this could be us. We have our beliefs. We yep. think we want to think, and they could just run in our house and maul us down and shoot us. When those police, when the, excuse me, when the ATF comes to the door, time they're shooting after hello for seven minutes. Yeah. that shit crazy. And then both are saying they shot first. And how you going to know? You know what I mean? That shit crazy. It was good, though. It was good. And Rocky like David docs. is at the front, so why would they really shoot when that's exactly. died to them? Why would they even want. play with him yeah. like that? Because David got shot from the gate. Mm-hmm. He was bleeding out really the whole mm-hmm. time. Um, but yeah, watch. It's long. We gave up all that, and you still not missing nothing. Yeah, it's good. It's um, good. And, I, and if you have more time, watch the Timothy McVay again. Something else I grew up in the 90s. I grew up in such a violent time when I think back on it that's why now when people complain about the violence it's like is it or is this different kind of violence mm-hmm. it's a violence with a soundtrack now because of drill music mm-hmm. right um I remember Columbine I remember 9-11 vividly I remember being in the office and this girl yelling like no I'm calling my fucking brother somebody coming to get me because some teachers had TV so those kids knew first mm. and people were scared and the thing about because I did live in Delaware at the time remember what they were saying we had those plants mm-hmm. so they were going to hit those plants so they can knock Philly out too because yeah. if they hit one of our plants they don't have to go to Jersey yeah. and all that they're going to yeah. knock us all out it. Yeah, same time. it was that plant at UD right or something plant. but that, that was just yeah. the you know the like the the feeling in Delaware, everybody felt that way. Um, Cause wasn't they saying they was about to hit Delaware, but that the plane that was supposed to hit Delaware was the plane where they was fighting it, and it kind of landed in the middle of nowhere. Something like that, folks. Because I always forget about because it's the plane that lands into the building, mm-hmm. the one that lands in DC or mm-hmm. on its way to DC yeah, or something. Yeah. But didn't one land in the mountains of PA yeah, or something? Yeah, it was something? Right. So yeah, but at the end of the day, I really feel like it wasn't necessarily a real mapped out, real deal plan. I think the goal was to take them over, yeah. and if we can knock some yeah, shit down, we're gonna knock it the yeah. fuck down. You know. Um, as a person, like a Muslim person, I felt like, like when I, it's, it's just, let me, let me start back. It's frustrating to me that majority of those kind of situations, or when you speak of terrorism, the oldest, the eldest terroristic group. Like the first one known to men for real. Oh, when know. we think of it, it's Ku Klux Klan, which mm-hmm. is a group of white men. And then on average, you are going to find way more white nationalists, Ku Klux Klan, Nazis, whatever, that are terrorists actively than you will Muslim, right? Oh, 1,000%. So it's like the fact that after 9-11 and that kind of vibe that went out, you know, because there's even been celebrities that have been caught doing stuff like that and, oh, that's a terrorist or whatever, not understanding what's what or whatever. It's just when you know, like, the real history of here, mm-hmm. it's just like, what the fuck? Right. I was very, very angered by the last school shooting in Nashville. Um, I am a mom of a few of the motherfuckers. I don't really keep count like that no more. <laughs> and the fact that sending a kid to school that's a third grader and being more worried about the third grader than the sixth grader or the seventh grader because it seems that lately they're going for the little kids, mm-hmm. Sandy Hook, mm-hmm. right? It's frustrating. It's, it's, it's beyond frustrating. With the Nashville, Tennessee school shootings, there was a trans man 
who yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, went to right, a Christian right. school as mm-hmm. a kid. She goes back to this Christian school. She kills the pastor's daughter who's six. She's looking for the pastor. She can't find them. She kills their black janitor, a couple other kids, I think two other more stu- um, teachers. Uh, it wasn't a huge number compared to all other shoes, but listen how crazy that sounds. Like, it's such a common thing for it to be 15 or 10 yeah. that this is, oh, it's only six. Um, it's like being in a, it's like falling asleep listen, watching a really scary movie and keep yeah. waking up to it over and over and over. And the difference is, is that it it is harder because I'm a parent. Mm-hmm. I don't know if somebody's going to kill my fucking kid at a public school. Mm-hmm. Flat out. I can make it a thing to put my kids in private school that has buzz in and buzz out. But a lot of my peers and my family members, they can't. And sometimes they come into, that was a private Christian mm-hmm. school. Um, I read about some place, Sweden, Bleeding, Bloglieva, they have a, um, a school shooting in the 90s. They changed the laws, never been another one. Yeah, like- A simple fix. A fix of, it's harder to get a, uh, uh, automatic, semi-automatic weapon. You know, you have to go through more. You have to be vetted, okay. right? You have to pass a mental health test before you can carry a machine gun, right? I remember Donald Trump got in office. It's one of the first things he flipped that you didn't, you shouldn't have to be mentally equipped to. When I talk about stuff like that on social media with people, with my peers, people are so... And I feel like especially black people because we've always been held on the outside of things and we had to fight so hard to get regular rights that everybody else has. So now that we do have our rights and we can go get a pistol and we don't have no trouble Mm -hmm. doing that and we don't have a record, right? Which is really bullshit because it's harder for a black man to get a gun than a white man. But that's another conversation for another day. But when you're thinking of it that way, it's this fear of somebody taking away your right. You're right as an American. But for me, these is kids. Like, how many fucking kids got to die before we all say, fuck our rights, fuck how we feel, fuck the comfort that you sleep at night when you have a fucking semi autumn You got a fucking yeah. Mac. You got a Mac in the basement, and it makes you feel better with you and your toddlers and your wife at the house, right? Maybe you sleep a little rougher because you only have a handgun. But it might stop another school with kids that are playing with blocks getting shot in their fucking backs in their backs i think what bothers me is about that situation is the police don't never if it's any time for you to risk your life it should be for some innocent children bro like they glad you said that they be they be like hesitant and oh we gotta round up a thousand troops like this is how real it is that's a great point glad you said it the school shooting right before this one, mm-hmm. they stayed outside for 20, 30 something minutes oh, yeah. and people died. Yeah. It was their fault. They fucked up, right? Mm-hmm. This shit's so common that these niggas did excellent. And they were, they were fucking being celebrated everywhere for how good it was, how tactical it was, how they listened to each other. The one guy that's behind them, he's pushing niggas. Go. Like when they feel like they're moving slow, they are two hands shoving each other to move faster, moving like a unit. Because they have practice, because mm-hmm. that's how many times our kids get shot the fuck up. Mm-hmm. They can watch video after video and footage after footage because this shit happens on a regular basis every fucking year. Yeah. If you look up the statistics of how many kids get shot at school Mm -hmm. you a kid your life is very small really what you do Mm -hmm. that is a huge part of your life and you don't even fucking like it and you can die there that's the part that makes me disillusioned with certain things and when we talk about things like you're a devil worshiper because you don't believe a rapper's a devil worshiper right yeah but i would give up my right to own a gun for the rest of my fucking life never could have one if that can help a kid from getting shot in his fucking back playing with a block yeah so who's the devil worshiper yeah. really I don't know if people understand lobbying and what lobbying does and how the NRA the kind of control they have over our government the National Rifle Association they're rich as a motherfucker and they pay these politicians to keep these gun laws right mm-hmm. so they can make money selling these motherfucking guns mm-hmm. and that's it so at the end of the day what are our kids lives worth they're worth billions fuck them kids that's how they feel about it because them probably not going to get my kids shot anyway. Because we live well. Fuck them kids. That's basically what it is. 
all the debates about should cop, teachers carry guns? Fuck no. Should there be? It, it doesn't make more no. guns don't help the gun situation. No. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's an easy fix. It is. It's, 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 it's very. Gun. It is an easy fix. Because if we look, like you said, if we look at high school shootings versus elementary school, it's way more elementary school, right? And it a police officer in every high school parking lot. If a cop that's just on. If I'm a cop, right, and I'm on some regular duty, how many times do we see cops on their phone parked on a regular street where ain't nothing going on, parked in Kmart parking lot? That you feel me? Go sit somewhere on where ice. if something happened, you can be you of might service or deter you feel somebody me? from even or going de- be in. A deterrent. But yeah. the big scheme of things is just facts. If you just look at the numbers, right, and you look at other countries that have way less violent situations mm-hmm. in their countries, and because in some of these countries, police don't kill they people. They don't even have guns yeah. in some other yeah, countries. Gun control. Police don't kill motherfuckers. Yeah. They help motherfuckers in some places. It's like the way we live is just barbaric. So I'll be really confused with this whole American dream when some people come here to get because it's like, you niggas can't read. Everything's on Twitter. We fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's fucked up over here. You know what I mean? But if you look at what other countries have done, or if you just pay attention, it's it's just as simple as make it. It has to be harder to get a gun like that. Mm-hmm. When you're talking about when a normal officer is coming in with is a nine, a forty, he can't battle a motherfucker with an AK forty seven. So why is are they so readily available? Mm-hmm. For a fact, us three could get on a bus, go to Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and we could buy some big boy shit convention. with no yeah. license. Gun convention. I'm a felon. I know I can go in there and get what I want to get. Mm-hmm. It's, it's no need for it. You catch deer, how fast is them niggas? Why? <laughs> yeah. I don't see the Rambo shit with catching yeah. the deer. Mm-hmm. It's, at the end of the day, if it means sacrificing, you know, I guess that feeling of safety or if it makes your dick feel bigger or whatever it is. But I'm not even talking to the regular Schmeckler, Degler Americans because they don't even understand what they've, they've already been suckered into. Mm-hmm. This is about money. This ain't mm-hmm. about your rights. The NRA mm-hmm. going to keep plugging it in your mind. Somebody trying to take your rights, but it's a lie. Anybody that's trying to give you information and they base it on fear, that's why Donald Trump was a piece of shit, dummies, mm-hmm. because that's what he did. This Chinese virus is going to kill us all. When people use fear tactics to control you that's because they're dumb and that's not a person you can trust or you should feel comfortable with Donald Trump with the jail niggas act like it was a motherfucking Rodney King god damn you black you black yeah. motherfuckers you embarrassing me did he actually finally go he went to jail he charged mm-hmm. I don't know what he charged no, I think with. he was out at the UFC fight like and these night. niggas don't do no research why he go to jail look at this um, for, money. Uh, for money laundering you see what I'm saying no, uh, you know what I said he went to jail for? He white. He went to jail because he fucked that girl in her yeah, ass uh, and he tried to give her a hundred yeah. money not to jail. And she was like, "No, nah, fuck I that." I know that was illegal. Oh, sodomy. Sodomy is illegal. No, no. That- <laughs> what you saying? You just ain't fucked her in that. Ain't that sodomy? I did say it, but that's not <laughs> it. He fucked a porn star named Stormy. Stormy Daniels. But he used campaign money to shut her up. Oh, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. that was the that's crime. Tough. I fuck with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all they all fucked he up. He can't so. use the money for that though, Phelps. Oh, we mad. That, but the, but we the, mad. Sorry. He uh, we mad. He ain't refund check it. That he spent it on some pussy. I'm not a fan of Donald Trump. I don't care about the PUA PUP. I feel like black people really believe that he. I mean, he was I, God. Oh, he was I hate God y'all so much. Them. Sometimes and I money, love my people. Goddamn it! But the stuff y'all God be God saying on them internet, especially you Facebook motherfuckers, yeah. that's the hills have eyes. You niggas slow. <laughs> <laughs> You niggas are dotted on that mother. I'm telling you. Okay, I can't even read. Y'all don't even use commas or periods or nothing on Facebook. You just talking. I, mean, huh. I understand how that, that world of people works, so I don't. It's like what you said. He went, I don't know what he went to jail for. When I'm he went thirsty. to jail, Tom mm-hmm. said the nigga went to jail and was out the same. It's like he definitely went to jail. He's been his out friends for a long time. And let me can I tell y'all the truth folks. though? I was shocked. That's what I'm saying. His peers is the ones of wrestling. Like, like, I mean. Listen, I was shocked that he didn't go to jail yet. Like, I, I literally, I literally could not believe that he hadn't been charged. Y'all didn't, like, automatically assume was, they almost locked up Bill about some cum. Come on, bro. Almost, but still. Yeah, that they good, ain't that put that the cuffs skin. on him in the court. None that of that shit. Skin. Bro. We out. Have you watched most of his, like, documentaries and stuff? Who? Donald Trump. Nah. I gotta give you a list and then let's talk about it. Like he really one of them. Like that nigga's a I, crook. I but it's open. So that's what I'm saying. It, if you really know his background, it's almost like, oh, like what did he get locked up for? Because he's broken so many fucking laws. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
for the love of God, his tweets are fucking. You can't threaten people and shit. That's against the law. But, I, but it's like somebody in his position. I've never seen them get what they deserve. So I don't think it's about to start with Donald Trump. I totally agree, but I still think he would have went to jail already. No cap. Are you saying it's excessive? Excessive. What? And we were talking about fudging, fucking with the money and fudging yeah. numbers and shit. Yes, like bad felt. Like his favorite move is he'll do a bunch of business, like what he did in New Jersey. Um. He got some of those contracts for some of the casinos. He never had any experience in it. He didn't know what he was doing. His fucking construction manager was a woman. She was like a legend at the time. One of the only person, only women in construction manager, really mm-hmm. good. He used to complain to his father all the time. This boy's retarded. The stuff that he wants, I can't do it. Doesn't make any sense. He don't know what he's doing. He goes into New Jersey, in Atlantic City. He hires a lot of these small businesses to get some of these jobs done. He don't pay they don't one. Pay him, yeah. I'm talking about everybody homeless. The whole fucking town. He did so much dirt, the motherfucking numbers went down. And it's, I'm t- as far as like everybody mm-hmm. getting money, everybody being fucked up. And it's Fuck totally legal because he filed bankruptcy. Yeah. That's one of his favorite moves. But whatever. I don't want to talk about him too long. I did want to talk about him um, going to jail or whatever. Um, free DT. Oh, no. We got a problem. It? Fuck it. I got it off the top. So real quick, let's move into shout out to... Is it Angel? Angel Reese. Angel Reese, Angel gorgeous. Reese. I never knew she was from Baltimore, too. Do you? You know I love you bitches, too. Okay. Shout out to you. Mm-hmm. Um, Yeah, that was a big, huge thing. I didn't know she was a You girl. know? Yeah, from Maryland. Did y'all know the whole time when y'all were saying this? I thought that it was like a screenshot and she had did this. No, it was... Mm-hmm. The, the, no, the move that niggas been doing me. forever in life. <laughs> so this was my question, because me and Tom had this conversation, and I'll let you into it, because you're so anti-social, mm-hmm. and I can only see you when we film it. Um, my question was, as a sports person or a per- person that knows sports, mm-hmm. this is what I've read. This is how I've read it to mm-hmm. me. And please don't, please don't beat me up in the comments. Um, it was put to me in this way. When the white girl does this, Right? She had been getting taunted, okay? And it was a real tight game, mm-hmm. close, back and forth, blah, blah, blah. Okay? When the black girl, when Angel did it, what's the white girl name? Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin Clark. Oh, Caitlin Clark did it to her first. Yeah, Caitlin Clark Caitlin. did it. No, Caitlin Clark did it to the other team. Oh, okay, she didn't even okay. do it to the girl. The okay. girl was just holding it down because she felt like she them her people. Yeah. Um, when Angel does it, of course, not only did it never happen between them, but they were 15 points ahead of them. Mm-hmm. And she's following her. And yeah. she's, you know. So what I asked with Tom was, and this is just a question, because I know how you bitches like to get up in your feelings. When you look at it that way, is it a way to kind of see where people would be disgusted by how the black girl did it? Or is it just totally common, period? And this is just, we can't do what they do, because we niggas. Um... So I'm I'm gonna say this like I've watched, you feel me? Different sports, college, professional, um, and I ain't, I'm not trying to be contrary and the devil's advocate, but white people don't like when the white people do it. Like and that's it's what been, I'm it's been, it's been, it's been culturally like I remember, yeah, culturally it's I remember, not it's not a, a um, dumb thing. Yeah. What was the uh, the Eagles quarterback? His name was Coy Detmer. Coy Detmer. Detmer. And remember he had the move where he act like he used to take off his belt and whip niggas. They didn't like that. Johnny Manziel was popular what five six years ago. Him and Baker. He used to do the money. the money. They ain't like they don't they don't like that shit. Only nigga that was good was Tim Tebow because he was praying. That nigga was doing the prayer. Move. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you can't like. It so, don't, but go ahead. I'm gonna say, but the, but the thing with that was is Caitlyn like they was at the, Angel didn't like it because from the other team because it's like the way they was playing and was just he felt like it was disrespect. You feel what I'm saying? So I was running through the tournament like man, we better than all y'all. Like mm-hmm. Caitlyn, don't get me wrong, is probably the best player in college and mm-hmm. basketball. And you told me that she's a known shit talker. And she's a known she yeah. pop her shit like she be on there popping her shit like talking. Man, y'all, yo, you down fifteen? Why you talking to me? Yeah. Like she like that. If like, we could compare players, who's the better player? They both good evenly. Caitlyn's Caitlyn is better. better. Caitlyn's Shut better. the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Caitlyn, no, Caitlyn tough. Wow. Yeah, Caitlyn's like tough. That. Okay. But like, that's why when. She when she came to Angel's defense in the in the world of sports, that's a part of it. Talking yeah, competition, that's that's not like nothing. Nothing they did was out of ordinary for enough for either right. one of them. It's just because Caitlin Clark was a good white player. Now all these 60, 70 year old white ladies that ain't watched sports since Larry Bird or basketball when uh, they see when they they still 
in that old ass mind frame yeah, of you feel so me? They they, might have been disgusted. Yeah. So would you go far as to say it wasn't a race thing? Or is it always a race thing? No, nah, race definitely has something to do it with says it. it is, but yeah. but but I but I'm gonna say it was race because it was white versus black. I don't think it was race because she was doing this. You feel me? Okay. If she was doing that to another black girl, they probably be like, uh, oh, it's kind of, it's cute. Yeah, What's it's, that? It's, you feel it's me? Competitive, but yeah, it just was like my my whole like that shit just was. I didn't really see the big like if you if you come from sports you understand yeah it, that's you know regular and that's why I asked Tom yeah. people at home I don't know if you know this nigga Tom will get together with his niggas now and play basketball so mm, it's like I, I asked because I want to know because I am very ignorant to the source for me I don't everybody could say whatever they wanted it would have always been because she black <laughs> because that's just how I play feel part, race definitely. has race part. has everything to do with it all the time that's just where how our state that's from my opinion as a black woman that's how it is for us here on this fucking um, yeah. what is it? What are we at? Country, planet, continent, <laughs> whatever. Um, anywhere. But I was just curious about it. Shout out to them. Um, shout out to all the eyes on women's basketball. I think it yeah, sucks that these bitches wear sports bra and put their titties together into one for all those games, and no nobody even come to the games. That's crazy. No, they gonna start coming now. Do you that know was how the, feels to put two watched. titties into one and but, wear it like that every day? But the, the, the thing is, Gilbert, you couldn't imagine. I imagine mean, your testicles jamming them up into one ball. Oh, no, I ain't never wear the um. What's them? What's them shits called? Cups. Jock strap cup, cup, yeah. Never. Mm -hmm. Just imagine I took a grip of your balls like this and held them yeah, close, and we had to do that a couple I hours a day. I ain't with that. I ain't, I'm, you, we got. Yeah. I, I can show you what it feels no, like. No, no. Yeah. Okay. So you, you, ain't, you ain't fuck with Joe Biden too, with the with the. Excuse me. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> I think Joe Biden is an asshole. I also think Joe Biden is an asshole. I think they're both assholes. I've been disappointed with Joe Biden since he got in the office. Joe Biden is from Delaware. I thought that the least he could do would be clean up Wilmington. Wilmington is the city of Delaware. Yeah. It's so violent, ultra violent, super small. So easy to fix problems. I tell the story a lot. A close friend of mine um, gets shot on her back while she's tying her two-year-old sneaker. They never even tried to find out who did it. I just thought that they would try to clean Wilmington up a little mm -hmm. bit before he got in office because he was from there. And sometimes they'll, like they did with Will Obama, they would go to Chicago, Chicago. and talk to the teacher and go to the I school don't, I don't, or whatever. I, don't know. I, I do know when Obama was in office was when Chirac was birthed. So I don't know what, what's the number. We, the numbers were good and bad. Because people in Chicago was complaining about the same thing. I'm sure, but just for me... Right. And Wilmington seeming so easy, bro. Me and you can clean Wilmington up. Yeah, right. You're me right. and you you're can right. clean Wilmington yeah, up. Right. 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 It's not a 30 square yeah, mile bro, city. Bro, yeah, right. literally, they don't even do the thing that Philly do when they'll like flood the neighborhood with cops. So everywhere you look, you see police. Yeah. Because that deters you. Because mm. if I'm pulling a strap, I'm ready to blow this nigga head off. And I see that fucking car sitting there. Mm. Yeah, I'm not doing, doing, it. It. Not doing so it. So just them, bro, remember in Philly, they would have the trailers empty. Empty your shit just mm. on the corner. But when you when look you see at that right shit, the left before yeah. you blow a nigga, you see that and you're not yeah. doing it. It works. Right in front of the Chinese store. And they won't yeah. even Posted do that. Up. They <laughs> won't even yeah, do that. Won't. So it's like, I've been pissed with Joe Biden. Not to mention, Joe Biden is infamously... A big part of those super predatorial laws against young black people, you can find him, Google him, having some racist-ass rant down mm -hmm. at Congress, whatever the fuck he super, did. Uh, super niggas or mm -hmm. something. Super predators <laughs> yeah. or super juvenile. Like, yeah. they created this fucking super ninja turtle kid that was going out killing niggas when all actuality the books was old the schools was raggedy and mm. everybody was on crack Facts. it made total sense whack ass lunches yeah come mm. on bro it also part of the those crazy laws the 101 law 100 grams of powder cocaine equals the same amount of time for one gram of crack cocaine but guess what statistically brown people get caught with crack cocaine latins black people white people get caught with powder cocaine for the slow ones if i got 100 grams of powder and you got one gram of crack we going to jail for the same amount of time and statistically, black people sell crack and white people sell powder. That's some racist shit. Mm -hmm. And they both drug dealers. What the fuck? But this is back when drug addiction was still treated like you were a criminal versus a person with a disease mm -hmm. that suffers from the disease mm -hmm. of addiction. So whatevs, man. I don't know. I don't want to get too deep on y'all, start styling y'all, but you know I'm <laughs> smart. <laughs> Yeah, we don't do that though. To to, no, to sum it up, we don't invite both teams to the fucking White House. Yeah. Duh, that was the whole thing. I never even mentioned it. Yeah. I think that's bullshit. Losers go home. I was very 
I got curious to see too. what was Caitlyn going to say. She laughed and said, "No, we're not going to go. Yeah, that's we, not how we don't it goes." Go. But if you don't think that was racist, that's racist. I'm going to tell you about that though. This is how you know Caitlyn Clark was good. They was only inviting. They. I'm going to tell you what it was. They wanted to meet Caitlyn Clark. That's what it was. I guarantee you, nobody in that White House can name five players on the team. That's it. We know Caitlyn Clark know with Caitlin. the big nose that shoot from half court. We don't know no. And we don't know somebody, nobody else on the team. Just imagine somebody being that hyped to meet somebody that they'll use their presidency to get free tickets the to a fucking event that they weren't invited for. They Dikita. didn't buy tickets to. Huh? Could you imagine that? Being upset that you had to use another motherfucking name just to get invited to some shit. And Could you even believe it? <laughs> Could you? Stop. But that's why that's why I'm saying it's super front runner because in the past, politicians that know about sports go to the games. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker, go to the game. You didn't go to no game. I wish Joe Biden would go to the game, walk past him. You showed up to the Final Four. Yeah, but but what I'm saying is, is like old it. presidents, if you're a fan of something, you're going to go watch it. You, you don't necessarily have to wait until they win to say, oh, you feel I me? I was getting so nervous when you know, the baby girl kept doing interviews, and she like, now we don't want to go to the Wilds. Fuck that. We going to the Obama. Matter of fact, we having it. a cookout on Capitol Hill. I got my fucking crabs, my food stamps. Shut that little girl up. You gotta have some kind of humility. You know what I mean? You can't be talking too heavy. You know we niggas, we can't do but so much, y'all. Yeah, she, they give you money, be quiet. Take that money from them white people and bounce that ball, girl. <laughs> she, she did. Yeah, she, she, she the highest paid. And her NILs. Is That's up. What I'm happy for. Her. She's gorgeous. She's really she's a basketball player and she don't look like Joanna man. Fact. So I'm all for it. Definitely pretty. Yeah, because pretty. That's why women, that's what I was saying. Um, women's basketball. Figure struggle. out if you know what's the, um, <laughs> the biggest Be a good girl with a good car and a daddy. And they can't go pro. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy. Pretty. I was letting you rock out. I don't know what she was saying. Excuse me. We had uh, Beyonce. What was we talking about? What's next? Because I don't have any charge. Uh, you want to get to uh, Shanquilla? Robin the truth. Oh my God. Oh yes. Oh my God. Which one? <laughs> I Shaquilla Robinson, shout out to our families. Much love. Prayers to y'all. That is fucked up. The United States said they weren't gonna prosecute anybody. I'm not gonna front. I wasn't surprised. Being that I am extremely intelligent and I've read a plethora of books on law. Plus, I fucked a lot of guys in and out of jail. <laughs> And when I went to jail myself, I spent all my time in the law library as well of having extensive, extensive memory of Matlocks. I loved Matlock. And I was in fourth grade and I paid crazy attention. So I'm very like well versed when it comes to the law. Okay. Yo, pay so to my means. I knew, shout out to Keith. I knew that they weren't gonna charge them because the murder the homicide allegedly has it take it took place in Mexico, Mexico. Okay, um, so I'm not surprised about that, but I feel terrible about it. Like I meant, I, that whole story is horrible. I talked about it a lot on the show. It brought back all kind of memories. I told my horror okay. stories of going on a trip with my friends that I love, and then us fighting and me being on my own. The Miami trips in one hotel room, bro. And yo, I hate. I don't feel like my situation was like that, but I just think that. Tensions are so high on trips because people have certain expectations. I'm going to tell you exactly why. People have different expectations. It's mm -hmm. always one person that wants to pack the day with a bunch of bullshit. Mm -hmm. Then there's other people that just want to relax. They mm -hmm. don't want to brush their teeth. They don't want to fucking comb their hair. They just yep. want to lay the fuck around. It's another person that is anti-everything, the contrarian. He doesn't want to do nothing and nobody want to do it. He doesn't anybody want to eat or he wants to go away or go somewhere else by himself and disappear. So everybody can be like, where it fell? Where, I mean, where is he? Where is he? We don't know where he's at. What the fuck? And he got to prove he got friends every city and state we go to. And then he dips off and don't tell you where he went with nobody. And then when he come back around, we got obligations. He'll be late, but it's not a big deal because if you say something, Yo, it's a problem. Yo, finish your story. It's not about me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Word, my head. But um, I'm rock. then is there people that that want to do everything? Are bossy? Mm -hmm. They just want to be mm -hmm. control everything, or they're just pick, nitpicking every little thing. Oh, it's dirty. It's toothpaste in the drawer. It's da -da -da, da -da -da, you know. Then it's that motherfucker that do too many drugs or too many alcohol. So you either got to babysit this nigga or you got to wrestle this nigga every 50 minutes because this motherfucker is an angry drunk and that hen dog turned that motherfucker into Mr. T. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's always those things, you know? So, and then the funds. And then I'm about to say the, the broke motherfucker. 
We gonna have to fix that. Listen, the funds, bro. It's always my fault you got to carry. And when we planned it, you was like, come on, let little JoJo go. We all got him. Mm-hmm. But you, I'm the only one keep swiping for this nigga fries. Exactly. Every girl, all you yeah. want is fries and a shot of Hennessy. And I'm saying, nigga, get a cup of water and some fries, nigga. Yeah. That's a fact. Either way, I think it's very simple. We had the conversation on here before about do male trips not beef like female trips? Because female trips, we do go at it. Girl trip is so good. That movie when they took, and I'm not really like you know a movie girl in that way, but they really nail how those girls are really friends, friends forever, loved each other, but did kind of mean stuff to each other and fell out on a trip and mm-hmm. got to a big fight. You know, um, I feel like you need to tra- you got to travel with your own kind. For example, these are two different people. There's the hallways. Oh, I want this kind of hotel, and then there's girl. We only sleeping. Mm-hmm. That bitch got big bucks because where she goes <laughs> is where it's cheap at. You remember saying, "Well, I do it matter. We only going to sleep, bitch." Because my ankles is clear, yeah. they smooth, <laughs> and I want to keep them that way. The fuck is wrong with you? Because I never had fungus, bitch. What did you saying? Because mm-hmm. I want to shower with my feet on the ground. And I don't want my feet to flop like I'm upstate, bitch. Niggas get into it on trips too, though. Over what pussy? Nah. Well, or food. I'm gonna say this. Either, niggas, niggas, nah, niggas either just because from being around each other too long, too getting on each other's yeah. nerves. Like one time, but me and my homies went on a trip. We were supposed to carry it a certain way. We wasn't. Niggas was out there bullshit and just you feel me. I'll tell you the details of it later. But yeah. long story short, the the quietest nigga out the group one night, he just barked on us like, "Yo, the fuck is y'all doing? We came out here for da, 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 and y'all out here da, 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 like." Da. And he straightened us up, and I ain't gonna lie, that was like perfect for us. And to this you day, see? it's like a it's like a revolutionary cuss out. I feel like you know your people. Perfect example, our group. Yeah. Tom and me, easy peasy, we getting along. Phelps does not like loudness real loud in the morning. I'm way louder than I know I am or whatever. Mm-hmm. Also, I feel like Phelps and me are the same in the way of we want our space. So if I go in my room and close the door, I don't even want to talk to you. Mm-hmm. And if he wants to go to Chinatown with some rando that he met the other day, <laughs> and he don't even know like that, but they follow each other. And he think he meant something, like the girl means something to him or he means something to the girl. Like, I don't care either way oh. about the girl. But some kind of way, she just keeps coming up. And now you keep catching Ubers out of here, but she sent you an Uber X. And now you think you better than somebody because she sent you an Uber Black. But I've sent you Ubers, but I never sent you an Uber Black. But she ain't no better than me, and I can fuck too. Girl, I just got you. Um, okay. I know, I know. But then we get I don't back. Handle shame, my game. <laughs> but we, we, we always plan to do some shit though, and then we get back, and then niggas be like, you know, "I'm on to sleep." Yeah, I, I need a nap. What the fuck? Yo, Cause guess I'm what? Crying, I ain't gonna yo, tell I niggas business. I'm gonna just shut it down right there. But I come through. <laughs> when I got to stick my phone in that face, son, hey, <laughs> you gonna come on back there? Yeah, I'm up. You wanna play Uno? Girl, I'm gonna be down here. I, I hold it the fuck down. <laughs> then that bad. bitch get the get off that door. <laughs> Go in that back room, do what you came for. Earn your goddamn key. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not saying if you come over, you're gonna get fucked. Just saying if you come over, you're getting fucked. I don't, like, I don't make it a point out to bring nobody to where you at. I'll be trying not to do that. I mean, like, listen, me now, my age, definitely want at least a day or two of, of relaxation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if we're not doing like spa Hell stuff, yeah. I want to enjoy the beauty of this room because I'm definitely mm-hmm. all for the room being really nice. Yeah. So if we get this really nice room with this balcony, with this view, I remember when I went to Jamaica with my family, with Toya and Jaquan, the upstairs was so nice. I remember being like out the shower naked up there, just, just chilling. sleep. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know, smoke the L. It's like, this is, this is the sound of this. Yeah. I'm so heavy on... The memory. Now, I have a very bad habit of every place I've ever been, I've always wanted to see the ghetto. My first trip. I'm in the same way. My first trip as an adult was to Atlanta. And I remember T.I.'s album was out and it had I-85 on the the booklet. And I opened it and we followed that motherfucker. And we literally went to a random cookout. And everywhere I went, they called me red. They was very nice to me. My ass was fast as a motherfucker back then. And they like that time. They like that down there. All right. Get a plate. Right. Get a plate. Like to visit local I ain't gonna lie. We went to New Orleans the first time. Yes. <laughs> we went to New Orleans the first time. I definitely was My like, yo. Is I, right. I was asking niggas where Holly Grove was. I'm like, I'm trying to slide. I'm trying to see what's up. Listen, is, is it dangerous? Oh my yes. God. I got another story. Yo. Like that small story. Is it dangerous? Yes. I remember. Yeah. 
when we we ended up in T.I. Hood for sure, we go to this random guy's barbecue. We want some weed. They put us in the back to get some weed. They got food. My girlfriend's staring at it. They like, make you a plate, girl. We eat, have a cookout, a ball. The bar they told us to go to, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, T.I. owned that too. It's called Crucial. They shot that motherfucker up. That was a scary. <laughs> the mother, it sounded like the motherfuckers had them shotguns inside that bitch. Mm. Okay? Like, who the who? And everybody starts shooting. And it was scary. Um... I think the wildest thing I probably ever did was when I went to San Juan, um, both times I went to La Perla alone. And um, mm -hmm. La Perla is a really dangerous area. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's travel warnings, all that. Um, somebody special to me, important to me, I watched him grow up. He was murdered yeah. there not too long ago and found on the beach, burned alive, and... When that happened to him, I realized how dangerous that area really is. Mm -hmm. Because before that, it's just like if you were from um, Idaho and you went, you know, had a tourist guide or you wanted to see, you know, Liberty Bell and all these places, they might tell you to stay away from Kensington. Mm -hmm. yeah. They might tell you to stay away from these areas. And it's like being that I'm from urban areas. Sometimes it yeah. feels like you could survive in any jungle because you speak the language. It's a it's an unwritten unspoken hood way that you walk through a neighborhood oh, for sure. where they can smell that shit on you that you do not belong there staring too long listen squares you know y'all love me because i keep yeah, you put them on your motherfucking tire pop you got to walk through this motherfucking like, neighborhood like don't Bieber. stare at nobody too long look long enough that you know where niggas is at yeah but bounce your eyes enough so you don't look the fuck scared because once you look nervous somebody gonna walk up to you and ask you for the time they're gonna take your airpods <laughs> <laughs> you know i ain't playing they will rob your bitch ass i'm telling you you seen snow on the bluff um, either way, um, but I did listen when I tell you I had a ball, and then I remember us having these conversations and even thinking about what happened to my folks about getting burned alive. Number one, I am a woman, mm -hmm. so called pretty privilege, light skin privilege, because they color us over there too. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm half as attractive, motherfuckers is greeting me with smiles, yeah. but it's still the gutter. Yo, what stood out to me was. With them, they treat traffic lights like stop signs. So if they had the real light, they going. going yeah. And it's totally typical to just do a yeah. 80, 60. Like, you Little just balling. Yeah. Right. Um, I remember it's like all these blocks with houses, but the houses are like um, clubs. Mm -hmm. And when certain niggas would walk in, everybody would just move out their way. Mm. And they got Macs and big dogs, mm -hmm. extendos, just open. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing secretive or whatever but i really enjoyed that and i've always had it was a dream of mine to go to a favela i saw a city of god i wanted to go to the favela bro niggas don't make it out of favelas you know what i'm saying so like now at my age go to the i did the same thing when we went to the yeah. resort yeah. with toya and them we met up with a friend shout out to q q took us to ultra's reels where he from and we've seen the real streets and guess what it was a little scary. Because them motherfuckers, not like that squeegee boy type vibe, but they selling fruit. But it's more of, take this motherfucker fruit, give me that money on your lap. Yeah. And you know what kept happening to me? Right. When I would have money, they would take my money count and pay themselves and put the money back. If it was moving too slow. And it was so crazy because it was like, when it would happen... It wasn't worth snapping right then and there, especially the amount of money, because yeah. we basically dealing in ones. But that's so disrespectful where I'm from. Yeah. I would smack you for that. Word. You feel what I'm saying? But it happened more than once. That's how I knew this is the language of the land. And guess what? I was accosted more for money. Niggas trying to make money off me way more than niggas trying to fuck me. Mm -hmm. We're looked at like Vicks over there. We don't got nothing going on. No disrespect. Listen, let's make this clear about Jamaica, because that's what I'm talking about. One thing I noticed about Jamaica, everybody up at four, everybody getting money, super hardworking people, real lovers of God. It's more churches there than anything, right? Mm -hmm. But tourism is a hustle for them. So if you're going to be in a high end where you're in some five-star kitchen or some five-star hotel, or you got a bag of cut-up mango, nigga, and you got to make these white sunburnt motherfuckers buy this mm, mango right so you can beach, pay. Listen, you know? so you can pay what you got to pay. So, um, yeah. I respect it. Did I miss something? Real quick, beef. watch Beef. I really like Beef on Netflix. It's a show. Um, it's literally about road rage, and it's so fucking good. Can you watch it, babe? Yeah. It's a. It's like a. I but it's a, it. It's different though for us because it's a. It's a show, and it's at least twelve episodes. Yeah. 
But they're not super long. It. Remember, I told you I like the main character, so I'm gonna watch it. Bro, you're gonna love it. Yeah. You're gonna love it so much. Watch I'm me t- too. I am. I am. I'm, I gotta be tapped in. Uh, Docs with Demona is kind of like a thing, so I got Docs with Demona. Yeah. That's it, Tom. I, mean, I don't know if you noticed, but I've been putting it in the, the description every week. Oh we my God, even read what you sent me. You know that, but That's I'm cool. on it we now. Do, like, um, Docs with Demona, how, guys. How, uh, Action Bronson and um, Knowledge. Yeah, do they do them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Docs with Demona. That's what we, we got to do. We're going to me, you. Now, Cam. Can somebody <laughs> zoom in on these nails? It's important. Me, you. Me, you. Me, you, Tom on the couch. We could smoke. Get a big green screen in the background. And then we just comment on the documentaries. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got. I'm going to be real vexed at the shit I'm saying and laughing at, but it'll be cool. All right, what are you talking about? I didn't hear none of that, but we're going to talk about it later. Listen, did you watch Moment of Truth? Yes, I did. Now, I thought it was Moment of Truth is documentary. Great it's documentary about too. Great documentary. It's about Michael Jordan's father's murder. Mm-hmm. It was funny because me and Phelps had a conversation briefly a yeah. couple months ago, and Phelps said something along the lines, well, everybody knows that um. Damn. Do we want to say that on camera? What? Nah. You know. Nah. Let them. Let. No. You know why? Because I don't have a problem talking about documentary. I'm no, saying no, it's okay let, to, to say on camera what you think and what I think. Nah. Because that that's that's what part of makes it interesting. So let let people watch it and then they because it, it was an eye opener for me. You feel me? And I'm a nigga like we know Michael Jordan's story and and in 2023 I think, that but was. But you don't understand what I'm asking you. I'm gonna tell you in the car. I do what know I'm what you're asking. I'm, you say, are, I'm saying the stigma. Don't don't don't. No, yeah. that's not what I'm asking. Oh, right. I'm asking like. Platform offend is that too rough to say? Oh yeah. no, no, I knew no, you didn't no, get no, what no, I was no, saying. No, no, no. Right. So either way, it's really good. Me and Phil had a conversation. Um, and the conversation basically was like, Well, you know, I know the reason why Michael Jordan dad was murdered. I know what happened. Mm-hmm. And then I tell him, No, that's not what happened. This is what really happened. He says more of like, Oh, okay, almost like I didn't know that because it yeah. made total sense. All actuality, they're just both huge rumors that are still Mm -hmm. big rumors today. Um, Some people believe that the person that's in jail for murdering Michael Jordan's father is innocent. I definitely believe he's innocent. Free him. What's his name? Fuck. Um, Daniel. Free Daniel, bro. Daniel something. Because he's his Muslim name was Al Shabazz something like everybody else, but his name Daniel something. Free Daniel. Fuck. Free Daniel. Um, doing time for killing Michael Jordan's father definitely didn't do it. Then, definitely yo, innocent. When this nigga was younger, he looked like Michael Jordan. Yo, I swear to God, no funny shit. The nigga look no the, the nigga, nigga that, the nigga that, that they kill, said killed kill Michael pop. Jordan, bro. He looked like Michael Jordan. Yeah, but that's what the documentary <laughs> is about. It's a really really good documentary. I love it. I love the fact that they get into the person that was arrested mm-hmm. for his life. I think a lot of people miss that. Um, it was very interesting to see how people felt about him because people love Michael Jordan so much Mm -hmm. and they carried that pain with him Um, Michael Jordan and his father was really close Um, I straight formulated an opinion about Michael Jordan's father as soon as I watched it Mm -hmm. and and no disrespect but it made sense Mm -hmm. what happened because Mm -hmm. in certain lifestyles that's what happens Mm -hmm. um but yeah, it was just a good joint. And I, oh, y'all know I love history. You know I love documentaries, period. They get into the town, and the town is that was so good corrupt. Too. That was real good. Oh my God. So we get we got the history of the town being super corrupt. We got this guy having a, another example of a give young y'all black man. We need a Stone Age. Do a documentary on that nigga. <laughs> another example of another black man fucked over by the system not given a chance and they really dwelled into that part of um of the story too and i really appreciated that really good documentary moment of Tr- truth. truth that's on amazon prime check it out check out beef on netflix um have y'all been watching zeus because i've been watching the stunner show i mean bad girls forever um (laughs) i know i'm forgetting to say something to y'all but i can't really remember it and i can't play you a voicemail or read you a fucking dm damn was it lizzo Uh, oh yeah candace always said that um fans lizzo fans are out of their mind or crazy because they call lizzo beautiful when i see Lizzo, the first thing i think is beautiful um I mean, I'm not a lesbian, but I like pussy a little bit. Like, I ain't have none, but I would like to have, like, a cup of it. Like, in the winter, a little cup of pussy. Yeah, you just do. You not just, a bowl, but a, I want a cup of it. Real manicure, no smell on that thing. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I want my cup of pussy smell like water. You feel me? Hot water. Mm. Well, I Y'all told it. us never mind. I like a little cat on a cold day. You know what I mean, Tom? You know what wrong with a little pussy? <laughs> I got one. You want to bump him? Call me. But, um... But who in here laughing? Cut that shit out. 
<laughs> women tell us stay focused. It ain't supposed to smell like water, and then they request the same thing. It's a request. joke. It's, it's a, a y'all know I don't want no pussy. Y'all just want to touch your titties. But I'm just saying that's a that's a conscious thing for you just for it it's to be a joke, like water. Nigga. Mm-hmm. Um, no, all those aside, um, Lizzo's beautiful. She, you know what's beautiful about Lizzo? I don't want to be corny. And I don't want y'all to think I'm. I'm bullshitting, but it's her smile. I'm like about she confidence. Her confidence. I, yeah, I fuck with her confidence. Yes. Her, her personality is 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 far as ca- everything else to me. Like I, I can't even get past that. So it was like, is yeah, I she with beautiful it. by looks, nigga? I'm saying, but is she? Yes, to me, yes, to me. Because you got to add to me in there because it's going to apply to everybody. Else. Like no music, what? <laughs> what? And, and my like man, him. my I man. I don't want no to cuss. My man, her producer. I objectify him a little bit too many times. Um. You haven't let me, babe. I don't want any trouble. Cough, cough. Um, I'm not going front. I was a big bitch. I lost all this weight. Became a small bitch. Talked about you big bitches like a <laughs> dog. I'm talking about my whole stand up. I had eight minutes going at you bitches. I used to say you wear Spanx every day. Your pussy ain't wet. So my big girls got good pussy. You know, they got wet pussy. And it's not wet because the pussy is wet because it's sweat. I used to say that about y'all. Now that I'm back in the uh, big girl Correlation, corporation. Um, I don't have nothing to say about it. <laughs> I have a big, wet, sweaty pussy, just like y'all again. I haven't seen my cat in a long time, and I'm sad about it. But as soon as I'm out this club, I'm back on y'all asses. <laughs> I say that to say, big girls ain't my thing. It's not. I'm not I attracted that. to big I women. That. That's not your joint. We went to the strip yeah. club. We went to the shaky butt in Boston, right? We were accosted by seven big ass strippers like Kamora Lee. Asses on their back like horses. These bitches all ass and titty. I can see them come around the corner. Stampede the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> we're the ones. Back you sweaty asses up. They have fat Word. asses and big titties and flat stomachs with big old soulful arms. I don't like that. Nah, I don't like that. Arms is big. Niggas had big arms, time, Big cook. feet. Big lips. Big backs. That's a strip club. They all surround us. They got Phelps in the headlock. <laughs> his head was in between two butt cheeks. Boop, 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 boop. All you can see is the back of his head. Sound like head a time. Between I got the picture. It's a picture of Phelps. It's two ashes. Like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> And they were so aggressive, we got them. Like when other little ones would come, <laughs> when other little girls would they, come, they about to shake 50 a bands bit, in we that got it around. They requested us. I'm like, we ain't say nothing about We're that. We're not even from here. What we never that? asked for these motherfucking Belasians. All of them half Asian, right? Mm-hmm. Real motherfucking baked macaroni lo mein shit. And Dude. I didn't like it. Okay, mm-hmm. get your big ass away from me. I put my motherfucking ones out and I held them so I got one I like. Then got, I felt. And she got the smallest joint in there. One. What? And she looked just like me. It was so weird. She was so <laughs> little pale. Little white, bright. Yeah, young. but I liked her though. She didn't want this pussy. I tell you that part? No, you ain't telling <laughs> she, that part. Yes, she did. He said, what you want to do? Mona was scared. Mona said, I ain't going to do it. Shout out to the ladies <laughs> in Boston. They show you a good time. That's a fact. They were like, Which one Derek. you want? Pick them up. Oh my God, Derek. Fuck Derek. That wasn't a nigga that did that. Shout out to, uh, what's that nigga name? Daniel. Shout out to my nigga Daniel. Free, Free Daniel. Daniel. Out the fans, All the Daniels bitch. is locked up. Damn. Damn. Free Daniel out the fucking feds. That was my nigga. Shout out to his podcast. What's his podcast called? Some people say that nigga Haitian too. Daniel, aka D Maul. D Maul. Shout out to that nigga. But, um,. It's just not my cup of tea, but I think you can see beautiful from a mile away. Lizzo's very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Her, she's one of the people, if she smiles and makes you want to smile, she's so sweet and endearing and humble. She feels so real. I, the thing about Candace Owens, is that her name? Yeah. Is that that bitch ponytail been this big <laughs> since she came the fuck out. Like, I know that she has, like, real strong political views and she's a conservative and she feel like we need this and need that in the community. She has this white husband and all that, but... I just wonder how many holes and wraparounds do you do to get that little bit ass fucking fruity pebbles? Remember Bam Bam sister? Mm-hmm. <laughs> how the fuck do you get that little spark of a pony? Use a ball head scallywag. Ain't got no hair in the back. <laughs> Gel the weed up. Your hair is messed up, girl. Husband looking like, uh, is that the midnight? <laughs> They all ugly. I ain't gonna talk about your child. But if you respond, I will, bitch. Don't say nothing back. You just heard what I said. Don't you say nothing back. I don't like Candace. I hate the stuff that she says. And I heard that 
The NAACP in her local area when she was growing up helped her with the race suit when kids call her the N-word or something in high school. It's cool when you need us, bitch. She always mm-hmm. got something nasty to say. And you know what else bothers me about Lizzo? Because I remember when the ugly, big, fat, black comic said something about her. Oh, uh, Ace hey, hey Spears? And right after that, motherfucker went down to Chinatown with that kinky ass child porn mm-hmm. bullshit. You ain't heard nothing from them niggas since, have you? No. Yeah, Fuck I forgot no. about that. Yeah, Fuck no. That but weird shit. it always bothers me that, and people would do that to me all the time because <laughs> I have a type of, I like an ugly guy. I like a you know big guy. Do. I like a, I prefer dark skin, but you know, brown skin, whatever. And people be all offended on what you like. Mm-hmm. You know? If a motherfucker like Lizzo, why does it bother you so much that she, that's the part that yeah. bothers me the most. It's like, you can't like what you like. That's her mm-hmm. whole spill. These women are crazy. Why can't they just like her and think she beautiful? Why yeah. can't it just be there? I'm not throwing on a Lizzo track. Ain't nobody told you today! Yeah, she, but I still it's, think it's she's beautiful. Yeah, fuck with her. It's too happy. Yeah. Listen, I appreciate you motherfuckers tuning in. I left out a whole lot. I love y'all the most. I got to tell y'all a secret. If you come back and meet me at this time next week, I promise to tell y'all a secret. And stop calling that boy a pedophile in the comments. I don't give a fuck. And leave me alone. Stop tagging me. Stop adding me. And if y'all want to watch some, send me some documentary, um, some documentary, uh, what's the word? Recommendations. You can most likely already seen all of them because I'm culture. Unlike you, Shaquita. But if you continue to watch me, you might get a little culture. Love you.